Action and Reaction, Part 2. So just to uh, remind you the action-reaction principle, so for every action force, there's an equal reaction force in the opposite direction. So the action is this guy pushing on the rock, there is a force that the rock exerts back on the guy. Uh, let's look at a basic example where two characters are interacting with one character pulling uh, the other character towards him. So let's say that Mr. A is pulling Mr. B towards him. Mr. B is just uh, holding on to the rope. Um, here's a little video uh, demonstrating and that. So action. I am pulling Dr. Cress and she just holds the rope and you see that we come together roughly in the, in the middle. Now, uh, the action-reaction forces are equal, uh, but the resulting accelerations are usually not equal. Uh, the accelerations will be equal if the two characters uh, weigh the same, but if, it, like in this example, Mr. A weighs significantly less than Mr. B, then uh, although the forces are equal, the acceleration on Mr. A will be larger, acceleration of Mr. B will be less. Um, so here's another picture of that. So let's say object A and object B have some kind of uh, attraction, maybe like a magnet. Uh, so in that case, uh, the action and reaction forces will be equal as they are uh, pulled towards each other. But if object B is heavier, it accelerates less, it will move less distance. Uh, object A accelerates more, so it will move a farther distance, so the uh, picture looks something like this. Another situation is that if instead of one character pulling, if they both pull, then uh, we have two actions, uh, the pulling of each separate character, and then two corresponding reactions, so uh, we have twice the force and twice the acceleration, assuming each one pulls uh, with the same force. So this uh, situation here, perhaps uh, Mr. A is pulling on Mr. B. That's this first action-reaction pair. But then Mr. B is also pulling. So there's a, a second action-reaction pair. So there's uh, two forces on Mr. A, two forces on Mr. B, so more force, more acceleration. Let's uh, look at a video of that. In this case, we're both going to be and pulling. action. <laughs> you, can, you can see how much right. faster we no, came together. So if we uh, consider yet another situation, where we replace uh, Mr. B with a solid uh, wall that, that can't move, then uh, when Mr. A pulls on the rope, uh, that's the um, action. But since the wall is uh, massive, it um, is not moving any significant amount, uh, but Mr. A uh, will accelerate towards the wall. So. Um, the force that actually moves Mr. A is the reaction force uh, from the wall, transmitted through the rope, uh, which is uh, the result of the action of him pulling on the wall. And you can understand that uh, the same thing happens with the force of gravity pulling you towards uh, the center of the Earth. Uh, if we think of the action force as being the Earth pulling you down, then uh, there's also a reaction, which is you are pulling uh, the Earth upwards towards you. Uh, but because the Earth is so massive, uh, there's a neg negligible motion due to that uh, force that you exert. Uh, the, the force is significant if you were say, the size of the moon, but um, for a normal uh, size character, 
that reaction force is negligible. So we, we only have to really consider the action force, which is the Earth pulling down on the character. Uh, one more uh, example, if we are pushing off of a wall, then the character exerts um, an action force on the wall. Um, the wall is massive, so it um, doesn't uh, move to any significant amount, and then the um, resulting reaction of that push is what accelerates the character away from the wall. You understand that this is what happens when you jump. Uh, so the uh, when you jump, you exert a force down on the ground, and then the ground exerts a force up on you as the reaction to your action pushing on the ground. Let's uh, look at how we can uh, analyze a quick shot from Madagascar 3 in terms of what's going on with the different forces. Uh, so let's just watch this where uh, I want to look at how Gia is pulling Alex into the train car and how we uh, can make that believable. So let's start by looking at the forces on Gia. So Gia is pulling on Alex. Uh, if that's the action, then there's a reaction, which is Alex exerts a force uh, back on Gia. So even if he's just holding her hand, the fact that she pulls on him, there's a resulting reaction force that would be uh, pulling her outward. There's also the force of gravity on her. Uh, and then there's uh, one more force, which is uh, she is bracing herself with her legs against the side of the car. And so she exerts a force on the uh, train car, uh, as you see here, and then that results in a reaction force back on her. Now, if we focus on the forces on Gia, we want Gia to uh, not be pulled out of the car. We want her to actually move towards uh, screen right in this uh, process. So it needs to be that the three forces on her, which are uh, these two reaction forces plus gravity, these need to add up to a resulting force which is uh, towards screen right and maybe a little bit down. So you see that it's essential to have Gia push hard on the uh, side of the train car because if she doesn't, if we only had um, this uh, reaction force uh, from her pulling on uh, Alex uh, and gravity, if those were the only two significant forces, then the net force on Gia would be uh, towards screen left and she'd be yanked out of the car. Uh, but because she is pushing hard on the rail here, uh, the, these three forces on her can result in her being accelerated uh, towards the right as she pulls Alex into the car. Now, let's look at the forces on Alex. So uh, Gia is uh, pulling him um, upward and into the car. There's also the force of gravity on Alex. Uh, those two, um, if Gia pulled um, really hard, then that might be enough to pull him in. Uh, on the other hand, Alex is uh, helping by pushing down on the ground so that he can jump that uh, exerts a force uh, reaction up and that allows him to uh, also jump into the car as Gia is pulling him into the car. So the three forces on Alex are uh, the force exerted by Gia upward, the weight of gravity, and then uh, this reaction to him pushing down on the ground. And these three forces need to result in a net force which is uh, both upward and towards screen right. Anyway, it looks like the animators did a nice job of making that motion uh, believable. So, in uh, summary, 
Uh, when a character pulls or pushes another character, the action-reaction forces are equal. Uh, the resulting accelerations are usually not equal uh, because usually the characters have different weights. If the characters have similar weights, then the accelerations will be similar. Uh, but the character that weighs more will accelerate uh, less uh, when they're not e when the weights are not equal. If both characters pull or push, then uh, there's two action forces and two reaction forces. So, uh, if the if both characters are pulling uh, themselves together or pushing themselves apart, um, then we have additional forces. Uh, the reaction force due to the gravitational pull of the Earth, uh, that, that forces what's considered the weight. Uh, the reaction uh, force is usually, ne well, it's, it's um, negligible in that uh, the Earth is so massive you don't have a noticeable motion of the Earth uh, due to the weight of the character. Um, and then finally, when a character jumps, the downward action force from the legs results in an upward reaction force uh, exerted by the ground. We'll actually look at that in more detail in some other tutorials on uh, jumps.